Hi, this is Susan Newman from Susan Newman Design Incorporated, and this is a WordPress tutorial of the Genesis theme as well as uh, Backcountry Child theme, and it's been uh, customized with a new design, but this is the back end typical WordPress. So um, we're going to go through some of the features that this site is using and how you can um, manage and update this site on your own. So you'll see that we've logged in and we're on currently on your dashboard and when you go to the dashboard it's going to show you um, how many posts you have, how many pages you have, how many categories, tags, um, what WordPress you're using, and if you have any comments. And since we just launched this site and we don't want any comments and this looks like it's just junk, it's the one that comes with uh, WordPress and we don't need it, so we'll just trash it later. So on the left here you'll see that you have posts, which are like blog posts. Media is where you would upload any new PDFs or images. Links. Now this is if you want to put a um, what's called a blog roll in your sidebar and in that uh, blog roll you could feature some other sites that you like and want to recommend to others. Uh, pages is what we've mostly used in this uh, in this website. So your pages, this is the comment section, this is your uh, slideshows, that's the um, uh, portfolio galleries that we have going on on different pages. Uh, this is the theme itself with just a couple of edits. Um, the appearance which has what theme, the widgets, the menus, the header, background, and editor. Uh, some of these areas uh, are code so I would be careful but I'm going to go through all the important things that um, will help you manage the site. Plugins. This is where we have a bunch of plugins that we already have loaded and this is where you would go if you wanted to install any new ones. Users. This is um, where you can create other administrators if you'd like uh, and we can go into um, how to do that at a later time if you're interested. Um, tools, which is just um, every occasionally you want to uh, uh, export uh, an XML fire file and that way you um, every once in a while download all the content on your site so if anything were to go wrong you would have something in a backup. Um, settings is where we can edit lots of different settings for some of the plugins we've installed as well as the general settings and then we've installed the calendar also. Okay so we're gonna start with um, pages and you'll see that I've loaded here um, the pages list of all the pages that we have and uh, when it just says the name like about us uh, it's a main category when it has a line like you see over here it's um, a child of that main category so when you're creating a page and I'll show you that um, you can just select what main category a page would go in and then it would automatically know and put and put that you know it would just uh, set up the page to go exactly where you want it under which category you want it. So this is where we would have all the pages listed and um, if you have lots of pages then it goes um, to a second page. So you'll see this like a second page here. Okay so our second page is loaded and you'll see that there's um, a bunch of other pages here. And as you add pages obviously it's just going to keep going and then um, you know there could be pages and pages and what you can do is you can also go up here and you can put in uh, only the pages you added let's say in July or whatever date it is. So let's say we we're going to add a new page so we're just going to click on add new and I'm just going to show you what the pages section looks like. Okay so our page uh, template 
you know, has loaded. And I'll just show you some of the basics here. Uh, you would enter the title of the page here. And uh, it can just be with spaces, that's fine. You know, whatever you, know, whatever you want to call the page. And then you'll see that you have a big toolbar here. And um, if you roll your mouse over each one, it will just tell you what it is. Um, so you can see that you have bold, italic, crossed out, um, underline, bulleted list, numbered list, indent, uh, flush left, centered, flush right. Um, the link here, this is to link something and this is to unlink something and you'll see that it's grayed out. The only reason is because um, in order for this to show up, there has to be something here. So let's say we were to put in some text. Um, the minute that we select that, then this would show up and let us link um, to it. So you would click on that and then it would pop up the window for you to put the URL in. Uh, the rule here is um, if you're linking to a page within your own site, you can leave this unchecked because it will just move the window along. If you're linking to something outside your site, you might want to check this so that your site stays open and when they go to the other site, it just opens in a new window. So we're going to get rid of that and then we're going to go on. So here's where you, um, you could insert or edit an image, although really up here right here where it says upload insert you'll see there's a little camera and um, a little music symbol so this is really where you would um, click if you wanted to add a picture or some other file and then you would uh, get the file either from your computer or from a URL or maybe it's already in the media library and we've uploaded it already and you just want to put it in this page. So you could just drop it in there and it would add it right there. So you can go through these and you'll see that um, if you roll your mouse over each one it'll just tell you exactly what everything is. Um, and then you would put your content obviously here um, you can style things. So let's say you wanted this type to be bold. You could just select bold and it would make it bold. Um, and um, so you can put pictures in here. You can put a link to a PDF in here. You can put text. You can put in video. You can put in anything you want uh, as long as you, you know, try it out. You can also, uh, once you load everything into this page, you can you should save it as a draft preview it so you would preview it in the browser to see how it looks and then you could close that window and then if it's good then you would publish it now here's where you would go if you wanted to pick where it's gonna go so obviously you know this putting it in in one of these that are flush left over here like about us or contact those are all main categories but you could even if you wanted to um, pick something like if you wanted to nest it further. So, you know, you could just say you want it to be within intern, whatever it is. So you can just um, select that. And then over here you would also pick um, what template you want. Actually, here is where you would pick what template you want. Do you want it to just the default, which is the typical one with the sidebar? Or do you want this one with, let's say it's a gallery page, um, you might select the full width so that you have the full width for the images. And then on every page, at the bottom here, we have a plugin that's called the All-in-One SEO Pack. So what this does is it gives every page and post a title, a short description, and in here where it says keywords is where you would put um, keywords or long, t long tail keyword phrases. So for example, um, 
you could put your location, you could put uh, where the photos were taken, you could put who's in the pictures, you could put what topics or subject it is, and then you can combine those keywords together. So it could be um, the name of your company plus the location, etc. Okay, so we're going to move on. So this is um, page. So now we've also installed um, the uh, Portfolio Slideshow Pro or Slideshow Portfolio Pro, I forget now. Um, and so this is actually really great. It's very simple to use. Um, so if you were going to, I'm just going to show you how you can edit pictures. Um, once you've already got a slideshow in here. Okay, so we've loaded a bunch of pictures and you can just easily drag and drop any of these and move them around. Okay, and then it always just gets saved as a draft. You never publish. Just save, just whenever you create an, an image gallery in this plugin, uh, it's just the way it works. You just always save it as a draft. And what happens is with each slideshow that you do, it gives you this short code right here that just says, see, portfolio slideshow ID equals 344. So what you would do is once you've created a photo gallery, and I'll show you how to do that, you would then just take this short code. So you would copy it and then you would create a page and I'm just going to go back to pages and I'm going to show you okay let's go to page two here we have one right here so let's just open this Thanksgiving celebration so we would use the edit and you'll see the only thing in here is that short code as soon as it loads. See, that's it. You just put the short code in. You name it what you want up here. And then you would publish. Right now it says update because it's already a page. Um, and you could always update if you wanted to change something. But all that goes in here is the short code. That's it. And then it shows the slideshow. And the great part about that is that once you have that page set up, um, if you want to edit or add to any of the slideshows that are already here, all you have to do is, you know, go to edit and you could upload more images and put them in here. So that's the way that works. And then um, we're going to move on to widgets which is under appearance and I just want to show you this is where um, the stuff is in your sidebar so in the right sidebar here and I'm just going to show you that the last one that's called text is the one that has the changeable information so you can see that if you want to change this at some point you can just edit this content and you'll see a uh, I've put some breaks in here. That's just the code for uh, like a hard return. Um, and so if you were going to change this or edit it, you would. And then you would just click this Save button and it would automatically get updated in the sidebar. And then um, basically the last thing we're going to look at is the calendar, which is really easy to use. So you would just go down here, you click on Calendar and you would just put a, an event title in here, put a description in here, um, and then you would just select the date of when it is, what time it is, you know, the end, the start date, the end date, and what time it is, and when it time it starts. And it works in a 24-hour clock. So for example, 1 p.m. would actually be 13, okay? And then you would just save it, and you'll see it just gets added to the calendar instantly. Um, and you can always go back and edit any of them. You'll see there's an edit right here. Or you can delete any of these if you want. Um, so that's basically it.
um, you know, if you have specific questions about uh, this theme, uh, just contact me and uh, I'd be happy to answer your question. Uh, be sure to look at um, brandingyoubetter.com and on that site I have a links to 10 different uh, tutorials on WordPress and this one is going to be added to that list. Thanks very much. Hi, this is Susan and I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to add images to a slideshow. So you would select Add New, put your title in here, and whatever you were going to call it. You would click on Upload and Manage Images and you have three choices. You can either drop your files in here, just slide them over and drop them in, or you could click on the select files and upload them from your hard drive. You could get images from a URL or you can get them from your media library. So for these purposes I'm just going to add an, uh, an image from my computer to show you how this works. So I've selected an image from my desktop and I'm just going to say open and you'll see it uploads the image and then in here once it's uploaded you would put in the alternate text now what alternate text is an image on the web should have always should have alternate text so for one because um, if someone rolls their mouse over it uh, it might tell them more of a description of what that image is um, it's good for SEO's purposes to have an alternate text and you can also put a caption in here or a description. And so what you would do is you would just say save changes and once we do that then we would say insert into post and we would save the draft. So once you save the draft the image shows up and it creates a new portfolio slideshow ID number which you would then put on a page like I described previously. So you can add multiple images or you can do one at a time. You could go back and just do it again and, and upload something else. Um, but for this purpose, that's the way it works. One more piece I'd like to go over is how the um, pages and menus work in this theme. Uh, you'll see that we have uh, three different menu sections. We have the main menu, which is your main navigation and pages. We have a social media menu, which controls the little icons um, in, in your design, uh, your follow social media buttons. And then we have a top right menu just for this uh, design that's for the two links in the top right. And so what happens here, especially in the main menu, is when you create a new page um, and you publish it, it is live but it's not going to show up in the navigation on your site unless you add that page from here once it's been published it'll show up in this window here and then what you want to do is you want to click on whatever page it is and say add it to the menu which you would and then you would grab it from the bottom because once it gets added to the menu it just shows up automatically at, as the last one down here and then you would drag and drop so you would just pull it up and you would drag it up to where it belongs and you'll see that it will snap into position and it, if it's a child page that goes under one of the main categories you have to make sure when you put it up here that it's you, slightly indented like the rest of these. And uh, well, then once you get it into the right position you just save the menu again and that page will show up in the navigation.